Sydney. They've got a bit of a bridge over there, all right? And then they've got that thing, which is for all singing opera and looking nice. Job done. It's really weird being in Sydney now, because uh, having gone from all those country towns to here, there's just loads of people. I can't really do my head in a little bit. Mind you, it would be weirder if we turned up and it was like some of those towns and there was just no one on the street. I'm outside the Sydney Hospital now and they've got this statue um, of a pig, of a wild boar and uh, the idea is you put your money in here like a wishing well, you give the pig snout a rub and that's supposed to uh, bring you good luck, you know, it's a lucky uh, hospital pig. Um, the only trouble is, is that this is an eye hospital and I've got a feeling that people haven't been rubbing this for good luck at all. I reckon that blind people have just been staggering along and going, excuse, oh, uh, like that. And then people went, oh, quite a lot of people are rubbing that pig. We could make a few quid out of that. And uh, the slightly worrying thing is you can see here where the bronze has been rubbed. Uh, it's gone a bit shinier than the rest of the pig. But the really worrying thing is that if you look down here, the pig's penis is a different color to the rest of the uh, hair. Rub the nose for luck, rub the penis for pleasure. That's the two, that's what it says on the plaque on the front. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. Thank you. Have you rubbed the pig yet? Have you rubbed it for luck? One of the things you might like to try if you're in Sydney is to locate Japanese tourists and then just sneak yourself into their photos. Do you want me to take a photo? Yeah, 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 no problem, yeah. Yeah. You ready? It's quite a good camp for that. <laughs> I'm just, just mocking him. Thank you, anyway. That's quite all right. You'd probably like me to tell you all about the exciting touristy things that you can do in Sydney, but I'm not going to bother because my gig's actually in Newtown, which is just up the road. Once you've annoyed the Japanese, it's time to head off there. You know my favourite shop on this street? Have you seen it down the road there? The Chicken Wizard! <laughs> oh, about four of you have seen that. I've come on a great quest, from all the way down there, to the mighty powers of the Chicken Wizard, and he's shot. There's a shop up there called the Chicken Wizard. Surely, if you had magical powers... <laughs> If you were some sort of Gandalf-style wizard man, you wouldn't use your powers to cook chickens. <laughs> it's an abuse of your chickeny power. The uh, most wizards throw rings into volcanoes and go on quests and that. They don't stand around just going, Do you want it extra spicy? <laughs> Do 
the hell is that? <laughs> but what's slightly spooky, and I want to, I want to stop this. It's about time we implemented a new rule that if you are a shop, say this is a chicken wizard. Look at the logo, right? Can we stop having the animals? who are being killed. Like, I'm not an animal rights person, but can we stop dressing up the animals that are being killed for your dinner in a, in a, like, they, like they love it, you know? It doesn't make sense. It's just, it doesn't, why would you have a chicken dressed as a wizard going, woohoo, I'm gonna be eating No, I'm joking. I do. I am a friend to all the animals, except cats. Can't stand the bastard. <laughs> the, uh, no, I can't. Have you, have you seen the Cat Protection Society? Oh, you go over the road there, there's a, a, a Cat Protection Society. Yeah. They don't save cats, it's a group of cats who extort money out of local businesses. <laughs> yeah. Go on, uh, Give us some cash, no foe. <laughs> All right, then, there we go.